water. There's a lot of it coming to the western U.S., especially snowfall into the high country for New Year's skiers. We'll talk about snowfall totals in a moment. This is Park City, Utah. Watch the range here off in the distance. This camera brought to you by the Ambient Weather Network. Watch that storm move in. Continues to build the icicles here on top of the lens and a lot of heavy snowfall there in the distance. Again, that's Park City from the Ambient Weather Network. Travel will be an issue over the coming days as folks try to come back home or go somewhere as we go into the new year and obviously getting back to work. Some of the roads will be treacherous. We'll touch on that. Air travel, some delays coming. Salt Lake City, Denver potentially. More details there. Travel impacts do cover areas from California over Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and to Colorado, mainly focusing on Wyoming, Nebraska, and the Dakotas up to Minneapolis. That's over the next three days. So it's quite a winter storm. Let's get to it. This is today's Daily Shower. Thanks for joining me. I'm Matt Bacon. Special thanks for liking, subscribing, leaving your feedback. Feedback received from the last video is applied here. We're going to go out to three and four weeks. So we'll go all the way through January in this daily shower. Let's start off with this week. We have lots of water across the country, kind of two sections of it, if you will. Out over the east and southeast mainly, we have heavy rainfall kind of centered around Montgomery and Atlanta up to Nashville and Columbia. Some of these totals will go over two inches and over three inches in some isolated cases. But we have an inch to two out around Memphis, St. Louis kind of moving into East Texas and East Oklahoma. That's area number one. That's going to be in the form of rainfall and some potential severe thunderstorm activity will be possible there. Secondary area is all this water out to that west. The Pineapple Express, the Atmospheric River, uh, the Gravy Train, all these terms are applicable, I guess, kind of sensationalized in some cases, but expressing that moisture coming from the Pacific, coming from near Hawaii, moving over California, dumping lots and lots of water. So total water there for the week. Some of those shades climb over 7 to 10 inches of total water. Great from a moisture standpoint, great from a water standpoint. A lot of that over the Sierras is going to be snowfall, as you'll see in just a moment. Next, Just the next three days, you can see how the totals are really focusing St. Louis down toward Houston and New Orleans and out to the west around Carson City, the Sierras, the Wasatch Range outside of Salt Lake City, and the Rockies just to the west of Denver and Cheyenne. Okay, that's one through three days. Let's chat about snowfall. Here's a look at what the impacts of that snow are going to do. These are all the alerts for travelers as we look at the map there from Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, Nebraska. This goes into uh, Tuesday, and these are all pointed toward another winter storm. It's that moisture moving in. So what are the snowfall totals looking like? And again, we're looking through Tuesday morning here. Some bullseyes out near California, but kind of this area grabs my attention from the broad nature of that snowfall. So let's fly in a little bit. First off with the deepest snowfall, just west of Bishop, California, into the Sierras, we're going to be climbing close to 42 inches of snowfall in three days. But that's a wide swath here from west of Reno, outside of Carson City, all the way down. That'll be well more than two feet and approaching three feet. A lot of snowfall there in the Sierras. Let's head towards Salt Lake City and just to the east there from the Wasatch Range, ranging, running, I should say, up into Idaho. We're going to be looking at some totals here at least two feet, if not approaching three feet. So really quite a bit of snowfall there just to the outside of Ogden, Logan, Salt Lake City, and Provo. You look at Colorado, and a lot of our mountains are going to come away with some decent snowfall as well. Steamboat Resort probably will have some of the top snowfall totals, as well as uh, Purgatory and down toward Wolf Creek ski areas may also as well. And that's going to be approaching two to three feet of snowfall coming in over the next three days. Here's a zoomed in map there. So San Juans, then we have the Elks and some of the flat tops, and then we get into Route County and North Route up into uh, Wyoming. We're going to have deep snows, again, two to three feet possible. That's just over three days. Another out outlook hazard to watch out for the next few days is high winds out in California, as well as in New Mexico and West Texas. If there's no moisture with it, which in many cases there will not, watch out for dust storms, especially down here in southern New Mexico and West Texas. So that'll be another hazard for travelers. And that is going to primarily focus on the 2nd, January 2nd. Okay, that gets us through the week. Let's talk about next week. What are the hazards on the way? Still very heavy rainfall, precipitation possible from Dallas, Jackson, Memphis, close to Oklahoma City and New Orleans. That's going to focus on January 9th to the 11th. And then we have January 7th to the 13th, focusing on heavy precip continuing along the western areas of the U.S., California, parts of Nevada, Oregon, Washington. In terms of snowfall, 
Snow will be heavy in the Cascades down into the Sierras. And again, kind of focusing on the central Rockies, some of the Wasatch Range, and out toward the Great Basin. There will be some heavy snowfall. And that's going to be focusing on January 7th to January 10th. What about temperatures and precip overall? Just looking at wetter than average in these areas, shaded in greens. That continues the trend we've already seen here late in December. Drier areas around the Great Lakes, northern high plains, and down to the south in southern New Mexico. Temperatures pretty much warm across the board for next week, warmer than average. Let's take a look at the next three to four weeks. We're pretty much wrapping up January here in this outlook session. So we're going to bring back some colder than normal temperatures down to the southwest. That'll come with a bit of moisture as well, primarily warmer than average across the country. Now I do want to caution you here, this is the last, basically the last two weeks of January. There's going to be cold air developing late January in Canada and that's going to dive into the country at some point. Whether it be late January or early February remains to be seen, but at some point, maybe in the next video even, this outlook is going to start to turn sharply colder. But again, to wrap up January, kind of a warm uh, month overall. And wet too, especially out of the west. So wrapping up January, we're mostly going to be wetter than average there to the west and northwest, Pacific Northwest. We're going to be drier than average down in Texas, and we'll bring back some moisture to the New England states. Again, that's a long way down the road, and we'll provide you further updates as we do get closer. Snowpack-wise, we need this additional water. This is a snow basin map as of late December, December 30th. Basically, if you have anything in the light blues to green shades in a three-class system, that's average. So light blues and greens, average. Everybody else, well below average as you look down into the south from southern Colorado into New Mexico and Arizona, and well above average, primarily focusing on Nevada and some sections here of, of Oregon and Idaho. But again, primarily, everyone is very, very close within a normal average range uh, of snowpack so far this season. That brings us to the end of this daily shower. Hope it finds you doing well. Happy New Year to you and yours. If you're traveling, good luck. I know the country has been a bit of a mess here recently, but we'll get things sorted out, I hope, so you can get home. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Matt Makins.